the library itself is so beautiful. That's something that I really love about it. It's just, it's a filmmaker's paradise. Over the past few months, BNC's special documentary film team of seven students has been visiting the Library of Congress in DC to create and produce a film about a special collection. So he's not, yeah. Okay. Mayor wants us to report. Just like extra audio. Just okay, it's fine. Okay. So Omar Ibn Said is this Muslim um, scholar, former slave, and I think that a lot of kids who learn about slavery don't usually get to learn about this side of, of history, not only um, U.S. history, but also African history. And I think his narrative, just as a slave, but then also um, all the people that he worked with and then Theodore Dwight and all of the other ethnographers and historians and anthropologists that were alive during his time are a part of history that we don't hear about and this collection really demonstrates it in a way that I've never seen before and I'm sure others haven't either. It tells the story of a slave through a perspective that we don't usually see when we learn about slavery. Um, usually you see it through the eyes of someone who spoke English or someone who, for example, Frederick Douglass wrote his autobiography in English. So when it's written in English, sometimes it was censored because the slave owners could read what they said. So people didn't feel like they could fully share their thoughts. Whereas with Omar's um, autobiography, he wrote it, he was able to write in Arabic, and so we get a very raw and um, unfiltered version of the story. Telling the story, the story of Omar, is so important because this is the only non-English slave narrative that we have. And it tells a story that we've never heard before and it could open up doors to other stories that we've never heard before. And I think that right now, in our current political climate, in our current day and age, it's so important to hear all sides of the story, even stories that we've grown up with believing that this is the way it was, that changes. And I think that it's time to open ourselves up to different perspectives and viewing even old stories different ways. So we made three main films. One focused on the conservation, one focused on the acquisition process, and then one focused on the narrative of Omar Ibn Said. I met with people in the digitization lab and the conservation lab, and they gave us tours of all their equipment and how they use the documents and what they did with them. And that personal experience is really important because it gave me a better understanding of what happen to these documents when they're at the Library of Congress and how the Library of Congress puts so much work and care into making sure these documents are accessible. Probably the most important part uh, was going down to the Library of Congress and being able to see the documents and the different people involved in the process and how uh, these people were able to do their job and going down there and gaining that insight was really helpful manuscripts that were written by them. I think my favorite part of going to the Library of Congress um, constantly was getting to interview some people who are really important in the organization and just seeing how the entire network of the library cooperates on a day-to-day -day basis and just meeting individuals and learning about their jobs and learning about their lives and their interests um, in these really interesting topics. The most special part of the entire thing for me is the fact that I get to learn about another human being that existed centuries ago and led a much different life than I lead and the fact that I can read his words and talk to people who know a lot about his life and make a video about his life is incredible because in history class we often lack that human connection to the past and through this video process I feel like I've gained that um, in an era, the era of slavery, um, where people were s systematically dehumanized. It's incredible that I can hear and connect to another human story. It really allowed me to learn about history in a different way. 
because usually when we learn about history in school, it's out of a textbook. And when we learn about slavery, it feels like this giant mass thing. Whereas learning about Omar really humanized slavery for me and allowed me to learn about history through an individual person rather than a textbook or just a lecture in class. My favorite part so far about creating the uh, Library of Congress video has been getting to meet um, all the people at the Library of Congress. It's just been a really a pleasure to be able to get to meet all these like professional people who all they do is um, ma like maintain and acquire different documents that are really important to the United States history and like the other histories around the world. I think this video is important because the Library of Congress has never really reached out to students before to try to expand their like media and kind of the understanding of what the Library of Congress is. And we're really fortunate to be able to be a part of that and kind of set an example for the future and have a really great experience of getting to learn about the Library of Congress and bring that to um, our, our students at the school and um, kind of just set the example for the future. We're the next generation and um, when people leave young people out of discussions and out of projects, you're leaving the next generation out and that is a horrible mistake. Um, so the fact that we are, as students, making this video with the Library of Congress is an incredible opportunity for us to get involved in that discussion and for us to learn from um, the people we're interviewing and for them to learn from us and for us to connect to history through Omar Ibn Said's story uh, allows us to connect to history in a way we don't in a typical classroom. You know, you have that one paragraph in the textbook, but reading someone's story and talking about someone's story and um, as students and as young people, it's, I mean, it's incredible for anyone, but especially for me, I felt like it's an incredible learning experience. And so being able to learn and experience hands-on the life of Omar Ibn Said was really impactful. So this video is really important because the Library of Congress is putting a lot of work into preserving important documents like the Said documents that tell really important stories about American history. And letting people know that these documents are, ex are totally accessible online and people can really learn from them in classrooms or on their own time. Um, and video making is a really good way to explore that. Uh, it's important to tell people's stories and to inform um, a wider audience about what the library does and about Omar's story and just to educate people. Check out our documentaries. They will be on the Library of Congress's website as well as the BNC online page. Thanks so much for watching.